Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Game. It's something to me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming at you with a new Let's Play episode of Angels with Scaly Wings. So, hope you all had a wonderful Christmas and a happy holiday. I'm probably currently watching the new Avatar today. I'll be seeing it in 3D, uh, going to a large theater located one state over. It's not too much of a drive, it's relatively close, it's like an hour and a half. But yeah, we're making an special occasion with my family, so while, you, while I'm watching this, y'all are probably watching this. So, without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump right back in. Alarm Chan, you are up, and let's go. Let's do this. Okay. <clears throat> I'm Bryce, a chief of police in this town. Can you tell me what happened? Yeah, shot Maverick and ran off. Okay. Is that so? His face was stern and seemingly lost in thought as I overheard Sebastian's conversation. Yeah, but you're the flyer on duty. We probably won't find him now. Not here in the darkness at any rate. Well, that's just brilliant. What do you think, Chief? Keegan, can you walk? Yeah, I think so. All right, Sebastian, take Keegan to an apartment to the apartment. Get us some help here for Maverick, and then we'll look for Reza. Right on. Come, Keegan. I'll help you up. I was still shaken up by the events I just witnessed when I arrived at my apartment. Not knowing anything better to do, I soon fell asleep in a deep slumber. Hmm. <laughs> Damn it, Reza. Did you have to shoot... Did you have to shoot Maverick? The next day, I awoke with many questions lingering in my head. I considered calling someone from the police department to ask about Reza and Maverick, but in the end I decided against doing so as I was as I was sure they would contact me if they had anything anything to tell me. I knew it was no use worrying about it for now, so I settled for starting another book. Nope. It didn't take very long, though before the though before the doorbell rang. Well, hello there. Did Bryce, the chief of police, take it upon himself to escort me today? Oh, it's you again. Are you surprised? No, but I guess it'll mean bad news. Right, so, are you holding up? Better than yesterday, that's for sure. Let's go for a walk then, shall we? Sure. This time I was taking along a different route than yesterday, and was quite sure there was more to this than just taking a walk. I'll just go ahead and guess you didn't find Reza. Yeah, we hoped he would have come back by now on his own. Do you have any idea where he might be? Maybe he mentioned some sort of uh, place in particular that holds some meaning? No, not really. We didn't get a chance to talk as much at all yesterday before... There's that, too. I have no idea why Reza would have done anything like that. I had the impression that they weren't very fond of each other, but this? How is he, by the way? Oh, Maverick is doing fine, but there's plenty of blame to go around. You're right, they didn't particularly like each other. In a statement, Maverick says he suspected Reza of planning some sort of attack. Do you know anything about that? No, he only told me something was going to happen. Not that he was planning anything, at least that was the impression I got. He's, su he's suspecting you too, by the way, that you both planned this all from the beginning. No, that wouldn't make sense. Actually, none of this is making any sense. Why would we go through all the lengths of our agreement only to jeopardize it by doing something like this? You even already have our PDAs, and we don't have much to show for it yet. If we had any nefarious plans, this wouldn't have been a very good idea. You have a good point. I believe you, but from our side, we only have Maverick's word on the whole matter. After all, he was the one who spent the most time with Reza since he arrived here. But even then, he didn't really have any reason to follow you yesterday, and his behavior was completely out of line. I'm just glad he came, I'm just glad you came out fine. If he wasn't on mandatory sick leave, he would be he wouldn't he would be suspended right now. We'll have to wait this whole thing is over before we decide what to do with him. I can assure you this won't be taken lightly. Maybe. We still got quite a lot on our hands now, though. We have a wounded dragon and a missing human. This could lead to a diplomatic crisis. Maybe Reza will show up soon, and we can all get and we can get all get all this behind us. I hope so too. I really wouldn't want to jeopardize everything over this unfortunate incident. Yeah, how about we both just keep quiet about this whole thing for now? After all, I don't think any of us wants our people panicking about this already, right? I merely nodded in agreement. Eventually, we arrived at the police station, where the chief took my formal statements in regards to yesterday's events. He asked me about Reza and Maverick, too. Not that I knew much of anything that preceded yesterday's events or the mysterious catastrophe Reza had mentioned. Afterward, he thanked me and left to file my statement, while I sat by his table, waiting and listening to the goings-ons of this small provincial town police department. When he returned, he was approached by someone who seemed to have urgent news. 
A lot of talking between the two ensued, and I couldn't make out any. F I couldn't make out that I couldn't make out from my position. This went on for a bit until Bryce returned to me. Afraid I have some more bad news for you. Reza has now been has now officially become a murder suspect. Murder? We're headed to the crime scene, and I hoped you'd come with us. Me? A, a crime scene? I don't really know much about forensics. It's just that you're the only link to Reza we have. Consider what we have said. Consider what he said would happen to us. It's in all of our interests that we find him as soon as possible, and if he has anything to do with it, you might be able to help us find him. Your cooperation would certainly be appreciated, and it would be a nice gesture to show us that you're trustworthy in the eyes of those who think, who might think otherwise after what happened yesterday. Will you help us? I will help you. I suppose I don't really have much choice here, but you're right. We've got to find Reza, and if, that, if that's what it takes, then I'll do it. Very well. Let us go, then. I don't know what... This park looks very, very fucking familiar. Hmm. Anyone else getting after class vibes? Oh my god. Lars? Lars, where you at, buddy? You're hiding. You're hiding somewhere. I know you are. Anyway. On our way to the crime scene, you tried to prepare me for what would, for what would come. I had studied biology, so I was familiar with the sight of dead animals. Asking myself how similar this would be, I wondered if my reaction would be any different if it wasn't a dragon, but a human corpse I would be seeing. These are some of the same scenes. Oh my god, this is another scene from um, A Place to Call Home. <laughs> That's funny. When we arrived, we're, we're, they, they all take place in the same university. Funny as fuck. When we arrived, we were met by Sebastian. He gave us an interview of the whole situation. Over the whole situation. This morning, the victim was found by a delivery flyer for a restaurant. A blood loss from multiple wounds are likely the cause. The cause of death. Forensics was already here, so feel free to poke around. A few paces in front of us, the unfortunate victim lay on the ground, covered by a sheet that concealed the body, but not the large red stain underneath. We approached while Sebastian went off to deter any curious onlookers. I know it won't be pretty, but I, and I'm sorry for putting you through this. But you know what's at stake here. Just remember what I told you and you should be fine. Uh, Alright. Are you ready? I guess so. Oh... Oh no, who could kill a dragon? Why would you kill a dragon? Oh. What do you think? Well, he's definitely dead. Yeah, rest in peace. Let's just say this will be your test. And tell me what you can what you can deduce from what you see. Give it your best shot. Oh. Two wings, two legs, just like the waitress in the cafe. About as big as a human. Lengthwise, if not slightly slightly taller, the wingspan would certainly look impressive at that size. Oh. The wounds are kind of hard to miss. True, but what are they telling you? I don't know the perpetrator was an unusually large or small person. He was already dead when he got these fine suits. Oh, <laughs> what? They were clean cuts, like from a knife or another sharp instrument. That is true, but why does this matter? It could have only been someone with hands. Well, I don't know. Can dragons use knives? Dragons don't use knives. Um, let's see. It could only have been someone with hands. Okay. That's right. Only those of us who walk on two legs have the proper dexterity to wield a knife effectively. Most of the dragons would probably just bite instead. Of course, this rules out most of the bigger dragons and flyers. But then Reza still has his. What was it called again? You mean his gun? Yeah, if it was him, why would he kill someone with a knife rather than just use his gun on him? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna be saving this every little step of the way, guys and gals. Let's see... Makes him look cooler. He lost his gun. He did not want to make any noise. He went because it wasn't him. There clearly is no reason why he would, so it couldn't have been him at all. Okay, let's see. Don't want to make any noise. No. So we're going to be loading. No. I, I want to uh, make. I want to do the right choices. He lost his gun. That is possible. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's try some of these other choices. What do we got? Um. He did not wake him want to make any noise. After all, he ran away from Mavic, trying to hide from the police. Something as loud as a gunshot would have easily given away his position and alerted others in the area. Right, that could be a good reason. 
By the way, which would you think was a lethal one? The one on the neck. I think the one was. I think the one that was on his neck. That's right. If all the blood from it wasn't a giveaway, this is a stab wound, characterized by a small footprint. You can tell it's also the deepest one. And from the location, it's pretty obvious this must have done tremendous damage. What else do you see? It's a whole, well, there's a whole lot of blood. The blood splatters suggest that. Let's see. I guess that even. Guess it. What the fuck? How <laughs> is in blood? You sure? Nope, it's blood already. <laughs> oh, these is fucked up. There's so much blood. Could it have been a hemophiliac? It is a lot of blood, I'll give you that, but I don't think that has anything to do with the hemophilia. I mean, yeah, he got stabbed in the neck. Anyone who gets stabbed in the neck is... Oh. Well, there is. Oh, let's see. Um, guys, what is the right answer? Ah, oh, sometimes like this on chat is like a super chat. Um, this isn't blood. He died here. He died here. That's there would have been a trail we could follow. The splatters also suggest this is where they fought. That's true. Unfortunately, it doesn't help with determining who the perpetrator is. Objection! Excuse me? Sorry, I just always wanted to say that. Go on, please. Oh. What about the blood on his muzzle? You tell me. The blood on his muzzle suggests that... He's come disease. He bit his tongue during the fight. He fought back. It might be the perpetrator's blood. Yes, that's true. I expect forensics already took a sample of it, so it might actually help us determine who the perpetrator is. Hmm. I think that's about everything. Investigation over. You know what, kid? I'm impressed. Maybe we should have you around more often. You did well on the first investigation. Nice. How many investigations are there? Hey, Chief, uh, do you still need the witness here for anything? Sebastian approached us, approached with the dragon who had discovered the body earlier. I recognized her as a, her as a dean, the waitress from the cafe. She seemed distraught, which, given the situation, wasn't very surprising. I don't think so. Take her to the department. Get her statement written up, and that should be it. Sure thing. No. All right, miss. We're gonna have to take you to the department. Of course. When she spotted me, however, her composure brightened visibly. Oh, it's the human! Well, I'm the human. Well, I'd call you by your name, but you never actually told me it. I'm Keegan. It's Keegan. What are you even doing here? Do you work for the police now? Looks like it. <laughs> Maybe I should be calling you officer, then. I don't think I'm quite there yet. By the way, I didn't know you also did deliveries. I do a little bit of everything, really. That's nice. I like my, uh, fish yesterday. You don't have to hide it. I know it's quite an acquired taste. To be fair, I wouldn't have recommended it to someone new like you, but you could always try something different. Here's a number if you don't want if you don't want to if you don't want to come in and we'll deliver anything we have to you. Thanks! <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I guess we should get going. Bye! Zoop! So, what do we do now? I suppose we'll head off to... Unless... Oh no. What is it? We've got a violent homicide, and of course nobody from the department tells me. I had to find out from a neighbor who wanted to ask me about it. Good thing rumors travel fast, eh? Of course nobody told you. You're on sick leave. Mandatory sick leave, I might add. I'm not here in any official capacity, you see. I'm merely enjoying a curative walk in the fresh air and happen to come across you by accident. What do you want? I don't want anything. I just find it interesting that no one tells me about this, but the prime suspect's buddy can mess with the investigation. I see how it is. I know what you're thinking, but don't jump to conclusions here. I don't need to jump to conclusions. I think the dead body we found says it all. You really have an attitude problem. You know, if you weren't on sick leave, you'd be suspended right now for attacking Keegan yesterday. Do you even have any idea what kind of repercussions this could have on us all? Me attack Keegan? As far as I can see, I'm the only one who's injured here. Besides, I'm so sorry for apparently being the only one who's doing his damn job. Right. Let's just all sit idly by while the suspect's on the loose and planning his next move. You know, whatever it was Reza was talking about, he was going to tell me just before you showed up yesterday. I don't need to hear you, of all people, belittling me about this. 
What's your problem? If anything, I want to find him just as much as you do. Don't compare yourself to me. Your words mean nothing. Enough! You shouldn't even be here, so you better go now and get some rest before you take before I have to take disciplinary action. Fine, but when we find him, you'll see I was right. If I have to prove it myself, so be it. Can he even just do his can he even just do his own investigation like that? Well, as long as he doesn't interfere with us, we can't really stop him from doing things in his own free time. I see. I suspect he won't adhere to the standards of performing an unbiased investigation, though. He's already made up his mind. It's clear to me he won't be looking for facts, just for evidence to support his own view in order to prove it for him. Prove it to us for himself. Who knows? He's always been like that. Always something to prove. We'll have to be careful. He'll be looking for Reza soon enough. Yeah, let's see. I guess that means we've... I guess that means someone might will find him, right? Yeah, let's... Yeah. Don't worry, Reza will turn up eventually. I sure hope so. All things considered, I have to admit that it remained a possibility that Maverick was right, but could Reza know... The Reza I knew really be a murderer? I mean, he just shot a dragon as he ran off. You know what? If you think of something that might help with the investigation, or if you need anything else, just call me. I will. Well, I think we're done here. Let's go. Let's go. Bryce led me back to the apartment. I guess there wasn't really much for me to do in the meantime, as I was spared the more arduous parts of the investigation. Maybe I should have been glad about this, though now I had an afternoon to fill. What should I do? Uh, what the hell am I supposed to do, guys? What do I do? What do I? What do I do? What am I gonna? What am I gonna? What am I gonna do? Auto. Skip. Okay. Um. Huh. Uh, Remy was sweet, and I was also sweet. Which one was Lorem? Price. What are some lunch? Isn't that Remy? Isn't that Remy? I'm an idiot. Was it Remy the one we just talked to? I'm an idiot. Um. Walking. To the to the mall, okay. He told me to meet him in the lobby, but nobody's here. Maybe I should look for him. He can't be too far after all. It was quite a spacious building lined with many bookcases on multiple floors. From the looks of it, it seemed to be as much of an archive as it was a library, with immaculate order permeating the chamber. It was the kind of place I could see myself getting lost in for an afternoon or two, thumbing through all the interesting books it could offer me. I was looking around in wonder when suddenly a voice penetrated the silence. Remy? I couldn't see who the voice belonged to, but it came from a more private area in the back. I was followed by footsteps that approached it. Oh, are you still here? Of course I'm still here. I have business to attend to. Certainly. I just assumed you'd be done by now, Emera. I guess your assumption was wrong, then. You good boy and bring some coffee. Bring me some coffee, will you? Of course, Emera. I heard some movement, though I still could not see either of the two who spoke behind all the suitcases. All oh, bookcases. I assumed the area was off limits to a visitor like myself, and I decided to wait. Here you go. Now, let me read in peace, you silly boy. Uh, of course. Alright, I'm gonna pause it right here. Uh, thank you all so much for- oh! Remy won. Okay. Well, I guess we're going with Remy in this playthrough. Okay. Well, yep, I suppose this will be my Remy run. Alrighty. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Have a super thanks for a tip if you can. It always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!